so the state of having anemia in my last videos i mentioned about weight gain and all because of being lethargic so in anemia people tend to become lethargic like so lethargic that you cannot you uh, if you are a person of personal cleanliness like you want to clean yourself a lot every day keep yourself moisturized by using moisturizers and everything you bath regularly but in this case it fails in my case it fails i was so lethargic that it was like people used to think kind of that i am lazy going so lazy even my doctor said that i am lazy which hurt me a lot so including that i also saw that i lost so much amount of hair like every time i used to comb this much quantity of hair i used to see and i was thinking what is happening like this is there anything wrong with my hair or something like that but it was not like also my nails became so weak that they used to break up when i bend them like this so it was so like everything comes and goes without your wish and you just stand there still thinking what is going what is happening with me and after my blood transfusion i also developed lots of side effects including weight gain which is obviously normal and and apart from that i also had breathlessness for 2 weeks and immediately after my blood transfusion i had fever like chill fever in some of the books i read that it's chill comma fever not it's no it's not like that is chill fever like malaria so my parents thought that there might be malaria present with me so we went to the doctor we tested but it was negative so it was one of the side effect and i developed allergy in my hand in my palm over the whole palm i saw small blisters used to come they came on my palm as like the allergy like when which is which happens with feel the food items i don't know i don't know why it happened and yeah after the transfusion i think the body does not really absorbs the outside blood so your face your lips your everything like looks like so red it means i want to say that it looks so different kind of red like like so like red lead yes like that kind of red but in reality it's like pink pinkish this that's of the absorbed blood so it takes a lot of time and yeah i for me it took like 7 months for recovery and still am recovering i used to sleep a lot to take rest and yeah i want to include one thing after blood transfusion before i want to include yeah after blood transfusion i felt so hungry within 2 hours like i was so low in appetite i lost so many like um, body vitamins and minerals um, along with blood and so to compensate all those loss and everything i was hungry every 2 hours so i used to eat a lot more my appetite increased but now it has reduced like i should say four times than that after immediate after blood transfusion 
now uh, i'm not eating uh, um i'm eating timely and i also want to include that because of my problem i had to be vegan diet i had to be in vegan diet it was well i one thing i would say that vegan diet is not bad but my vegan diet was so so vegan that i could not have oil fat sour things and i also used to have everyday boiled veggies and everything boiled it was it was not good at taste but um i had to take that for my body but after after my blood transfusion and everything i realized that i lost so many nutrition out of my body so i have to take lots of protein so i made protein as major diet in my food than carb because carb actually increases weight and it does nothing but protein is the building block so better to have protein if you are undergoing through anemia or something related to that or less of appetite or anything so make protein as your staple i'm not talking about meat and everything you can have veggie and beans and everything i mean every day you cannot ignore that and yeah it was all so disturbing in my case it was so not happening according to me as i thought because i never had that before and now i had and now i'm experienced so yeah and in this process i want to share with you that i develop um the feeling of hatred towards doctors i know it should not happen because they help us they help us giving all those instructions and medicines and everything but still i got that feeling that i want to be away from my doctor because the first point is that they have not undergone through this disease they have only studied in the books and all and they say according to what was in their studies not according to what is their experience so i develop that feeling and i i i definitely feel sorry for that if any doctor is watching this video even i am a medical student but that doesn't mean that i really hate every doctor i only hate that if doctor if doctor have not experience personally and start to give advices that hurts me a lot like a lot and yeah that's for now and hope this video have helped you